Here, guys, we're looking at Apple, Apple stock, ticker AAPL. Going to look at the stock price chart of Apple. It's the 8th November 2024, guys. And <clears throat> let's look at the chart. The market is coming to a close. This is the one week chart for Apple stock guys. We're looking at if you squeeze the chart, you can get an overview. You can see that like, it's steadily climbing, always making new highs. Always making new highs. And super high back in July and then regained in October just making a new high past $237 in October Where are we now? We're November 2024 and the year's coming to a close. There's already been the mini stock market crash of 2024, which brought the price of Apple stock down to 190, 190, around about 198. Um, as you can see there, <clears throat> 198, 197 dollars, which was which it recovered, and as I said, since August 2024, made a all-time high on this chart in October. So it's push, pushing higher, guys. Apple stock is definitely pushing higher. Um, change it to the one-day chart of Apple. I mean, if you're obviously like at this stage, you know, I don't know if you're a day trader, swing trader. If you're a day trader, you're not, I guess like unless unless it unless you're shorting it and it crashes, you're not gonna gain much from Apple Apple stock day trading. If you're a swing trader, however, on Apple stock, then obviously like if you're prepared to, you know, hold <clears throat> several trading days, say for instance it drops dropped here to 220 and you was going long you know if you're prepared to hold over several trading days and pay the overnight fees then you would gain somewhat but although it's bullish overall it is subject to those you know drops to those falls um you know in the market and especially coming up to and into, you know, 2025. It's likely to be another crash in 2025, even if it's a mini crash. But if it's a big crash, then <clears throat> let's just change that chart again. You can see what I'm talking about. If it's a big crash, then you're going to be quids in, basically. You're going to be making money if you're shorting Apple Apple stock. So for two two thirty six down to you know one ninety seven, then that's about forty dollars that you know that it lost there. So if there's a big stock market crash, you can imagine that would have came down probably to you know 
what what can you say to like 150 or maybe not not that low but let's say it gave another 40 for instance let's say it lost another 40 so come down to one say 160 say 165 and that's how far it would have dropped if that was a big stock market crash so you can see that there's more gains to be had in the short term by shorting the stock apple stock you know if you can call it right if you can get in at the right time because you don't want to be subject to, to too many you know overnight fees and also you're going to be hit by you know when they pay out not just apple stock in general we're talking about any stock you know if they pay out dividends you're going to be hit by by it you know so i think overall like would i jump on at this point going long on apple stock I mean, if you, look, if, you, if you're thinking 10 years, 10, 15 years, then, yeah, you jump on, right? Long term, long term. But if you're thinking short term, then you probably wouldn't jump on it. Unless it was part of an index. If you bought an index, obviously you had Apple stock in. It's a different story. But if you're talking about individual stocks and apple being one of them then setting itself up to you know for for, for basically for short people that go sh you know short the stock if they call it right getting it the right time and just you know before stock market crash this is what you know this is the profits to be made this is um it's good for shorters, basically, in the short term. In the short term, guys. So, obviously, it's making new highs. It's ever, you know, climbing higher. And you've got this sideways range here, if you could say, from 215 to, you know, 234. Around about 15 to $20. It's sideways range. And then it's going to push up. Um, but you know looking at this you've got this big climb here slant climb up again slant and this big climb the fall and the slant up again I mean it's forever pushing high obviously like the logic shows you that's what's going on but at the same time the best way to profit from Apple if you're not part of an index i mean you still could be part you still could be you know investing in an index that apple stock is part of but at the same time you could be short in the stock if you call it right at the right time but otherwise you might not want to short specifically you know apple stock you might want to short an index because you're going to gain from overall from the price drop of an index rather than just from apple and then apple might not even drop you don't know sometimes certain stocks they don't always drop or drop as much as you think they might so it might be worth shorting the index apple's part of rather than just apple itself but in that respect if you're not going to do a swing trade if you're not prepared to do a swing trade and you're just looking for just looking to day trade and I don't see like this at the week chart change it to the day chart I don't see why you would want to like day trade Apple as opposed to trading an index I mean obviously like you're more you're more exposed if you trade an index if you short an index you're more exposed the index price is going to be huge not to say you won't have, you know, stop losses in place and guaranteed stop losses, but really, I just don't see any value to day trade or swing trade Apple stock per se, unless you knew something big or you had a, you know, you had good reason to believe 
not particularly Apple stock, but a certain stock like Apple, you know, this kind of this kind of chart was going to fall, was going to fall and fall big. Obviously, if you if you suspected that, then that's different, you know, different situation. But in general, Apple is not kind of like one of those stocks, certainly not at the moment. Um, so there it is, guys. There it is, like with the Apple stock. It's forever seems to be pushing higher, going up and up and up. Elections just been, you know, finalized. Apparently good for tech, tech stocks, AI stocks, tech stocks, etc. And um, should be good for Apple stock overall. So that's Apple stock at the moment, guys. That's all I can say about it. Um, check out the other videos on the channel. Don't forget to like and share.